how to clean up oil-based ink. Hello, hello, Chris Noosh here once again with another Noosh Extras. Today is on how to clean up oil-based ink. So you started, uh, you made the leap into oil-based products and oil-based ink and you don't, maybe you don't know exactly how to get rid of it, how to clean it up. I'll be here to show you how to do that. All right, let me, first, what is oil-based ink? Oil-based ink is a beautiful product. Um, it goes on so smoothly, prints so smoothly. It doesn't have any, uh, the typical issues that you have with water-based ink, drying too quickly on the block, printing not as smoothly as you would like, all of those go out the window when you use oil-based ink. Um, I like to use Gamblin for making products. I've got this one right here. That is technically an etching ink, but I use it for, uh, for relief printing as well. I've got a big old mess. What I printed today was this little vampire penguin block. Um, one of the first things that you want to do is if you want to keep printing off the block in a nice way, you want to clean off your block to make it nice, clean, nice and clean for the next time you go and print it. I don't always clean off my blocks. All my t-shirt blocks, I don't clean off and they print just fine afterwards. Um, but if you're doing anything that you want to addition later, it's nice to clean your blocks off so the ink doesn't dry onto it and get clunky and fill in gaps that you may not want. So it just prints the same way every time for you. My t-shirt blocks, they're not limited edition. They're limited to however long for the life of the block and they, they age properly and they age well. And then after a while, I stop printing them. So that's why I don't clean those blocks off. Before you start to clean off the block um, with any sort of chemical, it's best to strip the block on the press bed. And to, the way you do that is you just take some newsprint, put it on top of it, run it through the press, pull a ghost print off of it, and do that a couple times until there's not a whole lot of ink left on the block. You want to get rid of most of the oil-based ink first. You don't want to create a big soupy mess because you're going to be using mineral spirits to clean off the block. Um, I've already done that. I've already gotten the, most of the ink off of this block. So I'm going to move straight to mineral spirits with this block. <laughs> I like to be as eco-friendly as possible, so I have a fire safe can that I keep all of my oily rags in that I reuse. Uh, the rags are 100% cotton that allows the mineral spirits to soak into the rag and clean off the block properly. You, do, If you're going to be using these kind of rags, you do, well, if you're using oil based in general, you're going to want to have a fire safe can in your home. So you don't catch your house on fire by keeping oily rags all over the place. So. First things first, get that oil, that uh, fire safe can, keep it in your studio for all your oily messes. Next, I use Gamblin Gamsol Mineral Spirits. They're odorless um, and they're said to not absorb into your skin. They're, sp they're studio safe. They're good to use. I always, I still use all precautions that I typically would. Uh, with just normal mineral spirits. I always wear gloves. You don't want to touch the mineral spirits frequently with your own hands. Uh, it is linked to bone cancer. So you want to always wear gloves when handling mineral spirits. I keep the mineral spirits in a smaller little container like this. It's just got a tube that goes down to it and I'm able to, to uh, squirt some mineral spirits right under the rag there. I'm just gonna wipe the block down Go into a new different spot, ball the rag up in a different way. Wipe it down some more. And this is never gonna be 100% clean. It's gonna stain the wood, but you can see how much less ink is on there than there was before. So I'm gonna call that clean, set it aside, let it dry out. And now I'm going to tackle this mess over here. So this is my inking slab. I've got ink on my brayer. I've got ink on the slab and I've got ink on my palette knife. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to roll 
make sure that's clean. I'm gonna roll the ink from my brayer onto the, some newsprint. Like I said, you wanna get rid of most of the ink first off of anything that you're cleaning. You, just, you want as little on there as possible. So look, roll that off. You can see the less and less ink's coming off up here now. All the ink was down there, less, 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 less. And, but it's still not clean. You can see it's still not the color right there that it needs to be. Um, but I'm gonna set that aside for the moment. And now I'm gonna scrape all the ink off of this, uh, off of my slab with my palette knife. I'm just gonna scrape it off and put it up here. If you would like to, you can reuse your ink. I put some additives that into my ink, some dryers that would make it not last very long. So I don't even bother with that. But if you haven't added any additives and you would like to reuse your ink later, you can just wrap it up in some aluminum foil and reuse your ink later. It won't dry out on you. Just wrap it up nice and tight in a little aluminum foil packet and set it aside until the next time you print. Me, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna toss this ink. So I'm get as much of that off of there as possible. Try to get as much of off of the palette knife as possible too. Once that's all done, I'm just gonna fold this up and throw it in the trash can. Alright, put that aside to throw away in a moment. And now I gotta focus on this mess over here. All right, once again, I've got my rag. I'm gonna put some mineral spirits, get out of the way. I'm gonna put some mineral spirits on my slab. This is just a piece of plexiglass that I use to roll out all my ink onto. And I'm going to run my brayer through the mineral spirits that I just sprayed onto the slab. This does two things. It breaks down the mineral spirits that I've got on my brayer. It also breaks down the mineral spirits that I've got on my slab. So it's cleaning two surfaces at once. You can see that the mineral spirits have pretty much taken care of all of the ink that's on my brayer. I'm just gonna find a clean spot on my roller, on my towel, and I'm going to wipe that off. Set that aside. It's not clean yet, but it's close. And then I'm going to wipe down my, my palette, clean up all the mineral spirits that are on there, and try to get most of the ink up with this first pass. Looks pretty good, but it's not quite done yet. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find another clean spot on my rag. I'm gonna put some more mineral spirits onto it. And then I'm going to wipe off the roller one more time. Make sure I get every little inch of this roller. And ink likes to hang out on the edges there. So I'm just going to wipe those edges down as well. And Sam on the other side. And then I give it a little wipe off the top because ink likes to live right on that little edge there too. It'll live inside as well. I'm not super particular about my tools. I'm the only one who uses them. And I use black ink 100% of the time, 99% eh, of the time. So I'm not gonna contaminate anything by leaving it a little bit. And I'm just a little bit lazy in that sense. So I'm not gonna, Make sure that every aspect of the ink is off. Put a little bit more mineral spirits on my on my rag, and I'm gonna do a final wipe down of my palette here. My slab, my inking slab. Final wipe down there. This is old, old ink from I couldn't even tell you how long that's been there. I use this this slab outside too, and sometimes it dries up quick outside. That slab has had ink on it for about eight hours a day, many times, many times. All right, so once again, I'm gonna just do a final cleaning of this brayer 
make sure it gets all of it off. And then get those edges one more time. And sometimes where you've been touching it, the handle can get dirty. So I like to give that a rub at the end just to get all that off of there. But that's how you clean off a roller. That's how you clean off a slab. And I've got one more piece of equipment to clean off and it's my palette knife. And this is the easiest of them all. Just like that. Just a couple swipes with your mineral spirit soaked rag at this point. Get it nice and clean. To be clear, I do not soak the rags in mineral spirits. I just put a little bit of mineral spirits on at a time. Uh, but over time it does hold a lot of the mineral spirits onto it. So just clean all the edges. If you want to clean the handles, clean the handle. But there we go. Clean tool. Once everything is all clean, I put it back where it belongs, clean up the area. I hang all of my brayers up by the handle but with a little hole that I've drilled into the handle there. Put this one here, it's my favorite one, goes right in the middle. This little tool. Hang it up. And I already put my palette knife up, so that's already up there too. All right, your gloves. These are still good. You can use them again. So I just gently take them off. You don't want to put too many gloves in. Well, I don't want to, I don't know what you want to do. I don't want to put too many gloves into the landfill. So I, I reuse these gloves constantly. Um, I'll use the same pair of gloves for like a month, as long as they don't rip or break on me, as long as I can take them off cleanly and they're still good to use. I take them off and I just put them aside until the next time I need to clean up and they'll be ready for me at that point. That is how I clean up my inky oily mess with my oil-based inks. Um, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. I'll be sure to answer them, but thanks for watching. All right, bye.